In this example, we'll work with a line chart. So let's select line chart from the type up top. We go through the same method of selecting our data, periods, and organization units as before. Let's work with an indicator this time. And we can work with indicators from the maternal and delivery group. We can look at the EMOC rate and compare it with the complicated deliveries within institutions. For the periods, let's deselect the relative period and work with the predefined periods. We'll select monthly as the period type, and in this case, we want to select the last 36 months. Line charts are particularly good at comparing trends over a large period of time. If we click on previous year, we can go back into the last year. If we click on next year, it will bring us back to 2016. We can use these previous year and next year buttons to navigate between different years. If I want to select all of the months available in 2014, I can navigate to 2014, use the double arrows to select all the months available in 2014, then I can click on next year. I can add in all the months for 2015. I can click on the next year again and add in all the months for 2016. Now I've selected all 36 months over this time period. Let's go to our organization unit and we'll just compare these two indicators within training line. Let's go check our layout very quickly. The organization units is filtered out by default. Remember, this is the same as the pivot table. We have the category as our periods. That means those months will appear on our X axis for this particular graph type. And we have the series as our data. So this looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and update our chart. Now we can see that these values are displayed. We start at January 2014 and end at December 2016. Green represents our EMONC rate while blue represents our institutional complicated delivery rate. We can see that both of these indicators have been increasing over the last 36 months. This might trigger a certain response within your health system, depending on what your targets are for these particular indicators and how you measure them. Now, just like the pivot table application, we can save all of these charts as a favorite. We follow the same process. We go up to favorites, click on save as. We still want to follow our same naming convention. So that's our username, the program name, the what, where, and when. We can of course give the favorite a description if we would like. We can go ahead and save the favorite. You can see that the chart now takes on the name that we've given the favorite. We can find favorites just as before by going to favorites, clicking on open, and in this case, I can just type in my username to find the favorite that I've created. Just looking at this favorites tab, note that we can also rename this favorite. If we want to save this as a different name, then we can click on save as. If we make any modifications to this favorite, for example, changing the periods, You can now see you can click on save. If I click on save here, this will overwrite my favorite. Now when I open the favorite, it will only include those months that I've included in my period selection.